Hey guys, this is Tiffany with the Nerdettes, and I'm back with a new figure. Yay! Uh, every time I get these in the in the mail or get the shipping confirmations, I'm so excited. Uh, I actually have the app to let you know what to expect in the mail, so uh, I was really looking forward to seeing this. That's two I've had this month, so yay for more figures! Okay, so this one, as I'm cutting it with sharp objects, this one is the racing miku now a lot of you if you don't know who miku is shame on you look it up uh she is from vocaloid uh vocaloid is very famous in japan and obviously in the u.s as well uh it's uh, electronic it's a computer generated uh like voice and songs now they they do use like they did use a natural human voice to kind of sample it and kind of uh create it but i mean she never gets older i mean it's pretty genius if you think about it because you know she never gets older she, she you know she can you know do whatever you whatever new songs are available and and a lot of people really love that so you know game miku so uh she got incorporated into racing and uh i'll actually show you a, a couple of other racing figures that i have around me obviously uh in the previous video since she's also within arm's reach i'm gonna grab her real quick you saw the mebe which is right here uh miku so that's one i already have in my collection um uh, so obviously i have quite a bit of miku uh and this is no exception so little piece of paper this is from good smile company as was uh, a lot of uh, actually all these mikus were from good smile company as most of them are so i just opened this and i'm going to show you they packed it pretty well uh you can see they've got like a, a thin film right here and the little uh uh like bubble cushion around it and uh, i'm gonna very gently take off that paper cover it's very it's almost like wax paper or like tissue paper that you wrap gifts with which is appropriate now this racing miku they come out with a new one every year this is actually from 2016 and they they take a year to basically come out uh in the states because uh initially they're only uh japan market capable or available or what have you so it does take some time to actually get them here so yay for getting it here so hold on Arr! Here we go. Ah! Okay, let me make sure before I show you this. It, there's nothing else in the bottom. Nope. Okay. Good deal. So here we go. Wow. Uh, now, when I saw this box, I was a little skeptical that they could fit it, and then I forgot she was sitting. So, all right. So it's an eight scale painted figure, Racing Miku 2016. And I'm just going to show you it in the box. Here we go, right here. You can see already the colors, the vivid colors, her umbrella right back there, which is part of the cover. Uh, you'll see Good Smile Racing. They actually have their own racing syndicate, which will, I'm going to talk more about this figure as we kind of unbox it. But um, the Hatsune Miku GT Project, uh, this is the racing Miku. Uh, I'm trying to see what else we see on here. So, okay, there's the front, <clears throat> there's the side, and there again, this is the Good Smile Racing logo right here. And then you can see what it's actually going to look like. She's sitting on a stack of tires. So, yay that. Uh, here's different pictures of it on the back. Obviously, it looks better when you take it out. Look at how cute! They, they, it reminds me of a of Kantai collection because they, they actually take the, like, the 100 and, uh, you know, meter uh, for the racing syndicate. And the, uh, I thought, I thought there was another one. I believe there is. Yes. Uh, 30. Um, and they, they put like, they put like a personality with it. Uh, so they have like little smiley faces or little like squinted eyes where, you know, they're trying to, you, you, there you go. You can see it right there. Both of them right there. You can see the little squinty eyes as they're like, you know, uh, almost like a pet as they're looking up like, mm, like that at Miku. So awesomeness. Oh, look at that. So the top is a uh, number four that's pretty awesome digging that uh so i'm gonna gently where'd my knife go there it is gonna gently cut the top little whew, little uh sticker e okay and of course they have them on both sides because they're 
they they really do package these really well I mean so you do I'm gonna do a no-no and kind of do it a little bit towards me but just to get that end cap right there I, I'm being very very safe so if you know no worries okay here we go I'm so excited okay oh my gosh this is so huge so I'm gonna very very gently take this slide it out oh gosh okay it's in the bottom I'll, I'll have to show you that first before we get to the the main attraction so there she is out of the box wow oh my gosh whoo oh good lord okay anyway you can kind of see the back there it's got the good smile racing smiley face right there uh, I'm trying to see if uh, anything else really is back there not really um, feels like it's like super plasticky it's a it's a it's actually there's two bags so I'm wondering I bet you anything that's uh, something you can take out it feels almost like it's not a sticker even though it kind of feels like it and then we have the instructions which are in kanji of course uh, on how to put her together so uh, it's got like you know all the little elements of what she comes with and all that uh, on the instructions so very helpful you know because totally I can read kanji not really but you I mean with the pictures you get the idea it's like Gundam figures so anyways uh, here we go all right uh, gently let me make and there's probably more tape yes okay uh, after enough figures you're like oh more tape yay for us okay wow they've really taped this let me get around the perimeter here okay there's one okay that's one hold on gotta cut all the tape there now more tape more tape there more tape there and top okay should be good I think Ugh, that's so loud I'm so sorry oh gosh whoo oh gosh if you were here you could really hear how loud that was oh my gosh oh she's so pretty oh my gosh so she's like uh, I'm gonna gently kind of tilt her but she's still oh, still in the plastic oh no I dropped a thing hold on gotta gotta grab it before it dies come here little thing what is, what is this oh oh okay it's her little uh I'll go ahead and show you it because it's so tiny it's uh it's funny because the little guy's holding it upside down so you can see his little smiley face and he's holding an actual Red Bull can uh, with a straw in it as a matter of fact that's so cool that's so cool I'm gonna put that to the side so I can take the rest of this out gently okay here's the base so we're, we'll we'll talk about the base first here we go so they're actually attached that that's handy so you don't have to put that together so there's the tires uh, Let's see what it says. 254C039 and 254C. Uh, I'm trying to see if they actually have a logo or anything on them. No. Good deal. Oh, yes, they do. GTA Advan and Yokohama. There you go. Right there. Just so you can see it. The, the, I always need to think of Grand Theft Auto. GTA does. And then Advan or Advan uh, Yokohama. So that's the tires, apparently. Uh, I guess that they, they you know, use in their racing. And there's the little guys we talked about. Here's the, this guy. He looks pretty content. Got his kind of like sleepy face, and he's really happy right there. And then this guy, he's got the squint face. You can see it right here. And he's like, trying to get up here and be be cute and adorable. And this little guy is adorable too. Uh, holding on to her her drink I think that goes it does it goes on top of her hand so we'll gently try to put this together what's in this bag random bag okay so let me I don't know how we're gonna do this do I want to do her first or do I want to do the it sounds so dirty yes I want to do her first uh hold on how does this come out oh my goodness gracious that is sharp uh okay Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's more tape inside. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hang on. No wonder it wasn't playing nice. 
There we go. Okay. Sorry, guys. Apparently, they decided to tape stuff on the inside, too. Okay, so let me take this out because it's so pretty. Make sure. What in the world is that thing? Hang on. Woo! Oh, no. I'm dropping plastic. Uh, not important pieces, mind you. So, what is that? Hang on. Is that another base? Holy cow. Okay. Hang on. I gotta investigate this real quick. There's so many layers to this thing. I mean, they really go out all out for these figures. And uh, I'm gonna talk about it more after I show you the completed thing here. Is this? Okay. I see what it is now. Okay. Hang on. I'm trying to work with this. It is. Look at that. It's another base. Look at that. I thought so. I'm not seeing things. Okay. Set that to the side. Okay. These, if I'm not mistaken, yep, go. That's handy. So let me see how this goes. Okay. Those, that, guess. Does it, oh, okay. Hang on. Putting these on their base. It's so difficult to see this. I don't know. I'm so bad with this. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I may do that in just a second. Where's the other one? Can I touch it? Maybe? No? You don't want to work with me? <laughs> No. Okay. Uh, it's not really a mandatory base, so we'll look at that in a second. So, let's look at this beautiful umbrella. Look at this. There's the number four again. And, uh, kind of like a beachy, you know, stick it in the sand type of umbrella. It's very rainbow. You've got, uh, literally, uh, the colors of the rainbow. Uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And the Good Small Racing logo right there on the little umbrella that goes behind her. And here we go. The prime attraction. Oh, yep. Tiffany's going to be a dirty person right away and just tilt her upside down. That's interesting how that's connected. Uh, that is an interesting place to put her hand. Kind of a modesty hand. And once again, like they did uh, with other figures, they've got her hair individually wrapped. Her, her arm was individually wrapped. Um, the like little strands were wrapped. Uh, I mean, she's got a tunic. Uh, it's a it's a sleeveless tunic over uh, some like sports uh, underwear, basically. Uh, so Max Factory is on the back. Freeing is on the back. All these are sub companies of Good Smile, uh, Gift, Banpresto. All those logos are on the back. So I'll show you that real quick. You can kind of like try to get a little bit closer. There we go. That looks better. All those logos right there, and you can see the ripple detail right there. As a matter of fact, you can kind of see some some uh, some butt detail right there. Let's just be honest. And uh, you can see the way her figure uh, kind of you know is enshrouded by her curly, beautiful hair in the rainbow. And uh, there she is. There she is. Say hi, guys. There's Miku, the racing Miku, with her from the front. Uh, I'll tilt her down so you can see her hair, her face. Uh, she's got her arm outstretched, obviously. Uh, she has um, the kind of a, almost like a sunset color on just her, her leg tights. Now, I'm going to be dirty because I'm, I want you to actually see this. I'm going to flip her upside down for you guys so you can actually see it's it's interesting how they did this because um, it looks like the the leggings actually like uh, have a strap I'll try to tilt it right there you can see the strap that connects to the uh, to her the top of her uh, like sport shorts so it's almost like it's you know all integrated together so that's really nifty and then so it's a it's a blue strap on that side and a red strap on that side right there so see that it's awesome yes they are white you're welcome most likely cotton which she's typically one for the traditional shimpam so there you go if 
but uh or for those people that don't know what that is the blue and white striped underwear so there you go there she is so let me try to put her on this base now i think yep she sits right there and i can see where where it's meant to prop her so hang on let me do this ever so delicately if i can oh my gosh that is not oh there it goes okay it's not easy at all so there she is on her base of the tires with the little cuties let me kind of rotate it so you can kind of see it like as she's there and i think let me look at her hand i don't know how that's supposed to sit there how does that sit there does he just really balance like that that is craziness so that that's supposed to balance like in her hand that that's going to take some setting up to do for sure luckily i have curio cabinet so it won't be too terrible if anything should happen and then of course last but not least you have the umbrella that goes behind her it doesn't really show how that's supposed to go so i'm i'm not really sure how you set that up let me up oh, oh there's okay hang on maybe i don't know hang on because i see there's like a little it's definitely behind her not sure where that's supposed to go somewhere not really sure okay but it's got like a little slot where you set it up so i think it actually goes in the tire maybe can't really tell or something not really sure how they want us to set that up but yeah so it goes behind her as such like like so and uh yeah i'm really curious where that's supposed to go and i'm thinking very horrible places that that is supposed to go but there you go that's what it looks like when it's all said and done for the 2016 racing miku so let's talk about this uh in more detail so this is the official hatsune miku uh for the gt project uh let me, let's see what it says it's eight scale like we said before this illustration this is a, a based on an actual like art illustration uh is was actually done by a popular animator named my yoniyama yoniyama i think i said that right and uh so yeah i mean this is the actual illustration that was done and uh, basically this pose is her taking a break at the racetrack with her parasol which is what this is uh opened out and she's sitting on a pair of tires with an adorable smile uh okay the the uh things i was talking about earlier are actually uh what they call weight chan so they're weights apparently uh they look like you know like they would be because you can see how you would lift them up right here with the little with the little uh loops uh so these are weight chan characters that were created based on the handicap weights added to the gt cars how cool is that uh so yeah that that's amazing i love that uh let's see what else of course it's a good smile uh whenever it first came out it was roughly uh, right at 130 dollars before tax so and now it, these figures especially like this detail this colorful they continue going up in price so you really have to get them as early as possible um the let's see uh it was released january of this year if you can't tell uh the it's painted it's abs and pvc plastic uh it is approximately 230 millimeters which uh you can kind of see my hand uh, next to her in scale uh the sculptor was beehive akinori yurikawa and uh yeah so it they uh obviously have done a lot of work on this there's if you go on good smiles website you can actually see it there's also a nindroid version which as you know if you know me i love nindroids and it's adorable and so but yeah that's uh that's miku for you she is uh so pretty so vibrant so colorful with her weight chons which are so cute and her lovely parasol and we can't forget the other weight chan who is delicately holding on to her 
uh, Red Bull for her. So there you go. That is my newest figure that we just unboxed that just came out in January. I'm really excited to have her all the way from Japan. She came perfectly uh, wrapped and, and uh, taken care of. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for her. Now I'm also, because I promised you I would, I'm going to kind of compare her with uh, some other Racing Miku figures that are actually in my collection. So this is actually a little bit of uh, my figure collection videos like I've been doing before. I'm going to show you a couple of other Racing Mikus. Uh, here's one. And uh, so let's just talk about abs for days right there. Uh, I think we've talked before in my other figure videos that every character kind of gets an award. She's definitely, uh, I mean, she's, she's definitely hips. This, this figure is right here, the one we just unboxed. She's got some hips on her. Good Lord, have mercy. She's definitely uh, the hip one. Uh, we'll just put it that way. And uh, you, you can see, like, she's not really an Opaichan. She's got the, the cool, good, good smile uh, racing sleeve going on there. But she is all hips. I mean, just look at that from behind. That's all I can say. Anyway. So this is another racing Miku, which is funny because when I went to the local World of Wheels, this uh, guy wanted to have put her with his vehicle because he knew what she was. There's another racing Miku. Show her from behind. She's all calves and she's got a little bit of a tan going on, as you can see. She's, uh, you know, kind of jumping up in victory, if you can't tell. But yeah. There's another Racing Miku, and really quickly, because I know this video has kind of gone on a little long, I'm going to show you the Thailand one. This is one of my personal favorite late Racing Mikus, because she is all legs for days. Um, she's got some abs on her, too, um, and some hips, uh, of course, exaggerated by her. She's got, like, a actual Max Factory, like, hip pads of sorts to kind of to show her off. So this is the director's chair that she sits in and just kind of, uh, that's her base. I'm going to take her out of the base so I can show you her a little bit more. So she's got a little bit of a tan. There's that Max Factory. Let me, Ooh, come on thing, focus. Oh my gosh, that glare. Sorry about that. I'm trying to, there we go, Max Factory. Now you can see it. Look at those vibrant blue eyes. I mean, you got to love that. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, she's also a racing Miku. She's definitely got some abs. Like, even as she sits there, there we go. That's actually an amazing shadow right there that you can really see right there uh, as I'm holding it. Um, the her, the way her ab detail works, even though she's she's sitting. There's her, her heels. Uh, you can really, let me see. I'm pretty sure, actually, that you, you can really see her calf detail as well which I'm a, a sucker for and a, and a figure. But yeah, this is an unusual version, the Thailand version. Uh, this is not like her typical aesthetic. I'm actually going to pull her up for you while I'm thinking about it. Uh, if I can type on this thing because I've got so many figure stuffs in the way. Hold on. Got to move stuff and re-coordinate and recalibrate real quick. Uh, Thailand. Because Thailand is awesome. Miku. Let's look at her specs real quick. So yeah, here we go. Also from Good Smile, if you can't tell. Ah. Uh, now she is 2014. So if you can see a trend. Uh, she's also from the Hatsune Miku G2, GT project. Uh, and this is the spe specially illustrated for the 2014 Thailand race. And the, this was also an illustration. That's another uh, constant thing that they do is they, they take illustrations and bring them to life in figures. Now, you can't really see it, but her hair also does an ombre thing. It goes from a, a light blue, which is her typical characteristic, to a darker blue at the bottom of the spirals. Uh, so, of course, it, you know, it talks about her. She's been tanned uh, a lovely golden brown, which is uh, also very unique for her. Uh, by the warm sun and clear skies of southern Thailand. Uh, so she's sitting in the director's chair during the race, taking a break. Yet again, do you sense a the theme there? She needs a break. She does a lot of work. And um, before getting back to cheering the team on, there you go. So this is actually Freeing, who did this one, uh, which is, again, still part of a Good Smile. Uh, it's eight scale. 
and before tax this one was right at a hundred roughly uh, and again those go up so this is uh, just straight PVC um, the sculptor was Hiroshi and and again it was freeing that that did this one uh, which is still uh, part of Good Smile like like you see on the back of her her outfit it actually has their their name on it so but yeah I mean you can you can tell I've got a bit of a a racing Miku collecting habit right here with her and Thailand and the newest one and uh, but yeah so more to add to the collection yay uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that unboxing. Uh, if you have figures, would love to know about those. Uh, which Racing Miku is your favorite? I, I have to say, as much as I love the Thailand, this is right now my favorite. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. I I'm a sucker for a good base. And the fact that she's sitting on tires and she has the adorable little weight chons, that I'm done. I'm done. That's 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 amazing. So, uh, but yeah. So let me know what you think. Don't forget if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube, like us on Facebook at facebook.com/slash/thenerdette, so you can see more figure videos, more unboxings, and uh, more giveaways, all sorts of fun stuff. So, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you back later. Bye.